Are you tired of sounding like this? Do your friends and family cover their ears when you practice? Do you play quietly just so nobody has to listen to your vulgar violin? How, How embarrassing. embarrassing. Well, look no further because the Scratch, Scratch eliminator, eliminator is available now. And for a limited time only, you can receive two, two Scratch, Scratch eliminators, eliminators for the price of one. Limited time offer. Some restrictions may apply. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. If you've been playing the violin for any length of time, chances are you've encountered the scratch, the crunch, whatever you wanna call it. It's a sound that we've all experienced at one time or another, and it's just quite frankly not pleasant. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to eliminate that scratchy sound when you play, especially if you're first starting out, and just kind of how to overall improve your tone. So that's what we're talking about today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I ask you to consider hitting that red subscribe button below and the bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So let's talk about scratchiness and how to avoid it on the violin, how you can have a smooth, clear tone on your instrument. So first of all, scratching that kind of crunchy sound that we get sometimes is generally caused by too much pressure coupled with a slow bow speed. So when we're first starting out playing on the violin, we tend to play on the slower side just because we're not used to it yet. So we're still getting the hang of it and that is totally fine. Playing slow is not the issue, but it's when we couple that with pressing too hard or using too much weight into the string, that's when it becomes a problem. So in order to avoid that, even if you're playing at a slow, tempo or have a slow bow speed, what we wanna do is first of all, we wanna raise our right elbow up so that it lines up with our hand, our fingers, our wrist, all of those things in the right arm, okay? So you wanna make sure that everything is at the same level. And what I want you to do is if you have your instrument with you, go ahead and set your bow at about what we call the balance point. So this isn't all the way to the frog, it's not quite the halfway point, it's kind of somewhere in between. And you'll you'll know it when you find it. It's a little bit different on everybody's bow just because we have different weights of our bow and depending on the material and also depending on the length of your bow. If you have a smaller violin, smaller bow, that type of thing. So find the balance point on your instrument and on your bow and we'll go ahead and just set our bow there with our elbow at a little bit of a higher level, maybe than what you're used to, okay? So what this does is it kind of just pulls everything up and it eliminates that really heavy weight or pressure onto the string. Now, if you have your elbow down here, what it's gonna do is not only is it gonna drag your bow down where you could have the potential of running into higher strings unintentionally, but also it's gonna add some extra weight into the string and kind of put a strain on these smaller muscle groups unnecessarily, okay? So go ahead and set your bow right at that spot and we're just gonna play a long open A. So starting at the balance point and we're gonna go all the way to the tip of the bow on a slow down bow. Ready, here we go. Okay. So if you found that that was still scratchy or maybe it started off that way and then it got smooth through the duration of the bow stroke, then what I want you to look at is not only your elbow, but also how much pressure are you putting into the string with your hand? The lower we are in the bow, as in like the lower half where the frog is, the heavier the bow becomes. So not only do we have the heaviness technically with uh, with the frog and everything around the frog, it's just a heavier point in the bow, but also combine that with our hand and the weight of our hand and our right arm, and that kind of exaggerates that weight and adds to it. So that's not what we want. We wanna have a very light bow hold and make sure that our tone is nice and clean when we're playing. So even if your elbow is up nice and high to the same level as your arm, which we want, 
you're still getting that scratchy tone. See if you can think of just simply lightening up your right hand. And now just stay in the lower half of the bow and try just some down to up bows just to see where you're at with this. <laughs> So if you find that you're still hearing that that little bit of a crunch at the start of the stroke, and like I said, maybe it smooths out afterward, then that's something that you'll just need to practice. It's not something that's gonna be fixed immediately, but if you combine those two techniques, raising the elbow and lightening our right hand and lightening our bow hold, then you'll definitely see a difference and see an improvement. So another thing that you can think about is Imagine that we have a string that's attached to our right hand and imagine that somebody is pulling that string up. So what this is going to do is just kind of release the pressure from the string to where not all of it is sinking into the string, but we're playing more on the surface of the string. So see if that helps. Try some long bows on open strings like we were just doing and then maybe try playing in different points of the bow because chances are, like we talked about with the frog being heavier, if you play closer to the frog, you're gonna hear more of that scratchiness and it, you might find that you have less of that as you start to get more toward the middle and the tip of the bow. So try playing in all points of the bow, see how it goes, maybe try some faster bow strokes and slower and see if you can kind of adjust your pressure and your bow speed depending on all of those factors. Playing the violin can be very delicate sometimes, it's sometimes a delicate art. So these are just some things that we have to think about as violinists when we're starting out to just kind of be mindful of how we're playing, um, if we're using too much pressure, too much weight, and how we can combine that with our bow speed for the best possible results. So hopefully that was helpful, hopefully you found value in this video and if you did again please give it a thumbs up so other people can benefit from it as well and until next time happy practicing if you'd like to further your support of the tune project head over to patreon.com slash the tune project for information on that and if you're buying any music or doing any shopping on amazon please head over to the tune project website which i link in the description box of all of my videos click the banner and a small percentage of your purchase will go back to the tune project this just keeps the tune project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all